Hi everyone, this is Joe Smith. I'd like to do a quick little video here on uh, the uh, military style canteen cup and the, uh, the, the stove that comes with it. Um, what I've been watching on other uh, sites, I was looking up uh, the different uh, types of canteen cups and happened to come across several on the, the military style along with the stove and back when I was in the service they showed you how to uh, set this thing up and the videos I've been watching uh, uh, people are setting it up wrong and I just would like to do a quick video here showing the uh, proper way of uh, setting this this uh, stove up for uh, using with the canteen cup so let me uh, make some adjustments here and uh, get started there you go um, okay first let's take the thermos off then you unfold the the cup from the stove lock down the canteen cup Remove the stove. This is the, the stove that the old military type stove that comes with the cup, or you can buy it. You can buy it separately. This is actually the uh, the old style with the handle. And what it has here is a uh, locks down with this little slide. You fold the handle up and you fold the handle up and you slide that little down into the notches, a little slide down. Okay, that's your your cup. But what people are doing, the problem I see with people using the stove, if you notice the contour it's a kidney shaped contour on the uh, cup. The stove also has that same contour. Just that way it nestles in with uh, the cup when you are storing it. Okay. Well, people are complaining about when they're using this stove is that when they set their cup on the stove that it either sticks on the stove, it doesn't hold securely, and a lot of times that cup will slide down inside the stove. Well the problem that I that's going on here is what you need to do is turn the stove around, okay, so it's the opposite way. That way you can set your cup right on top of the stove and it won't stick onto the cup. The other thing is when you let me turn this back around when you have it the same way as the cup it actually closes off the closes off the airway at the top and puts out the flame. Okay, so what you want to do is turn your cup or turn your burner around the opposite way. That way you can set your stove right on top of there. And as you can see, there's an opening in the front here when you turn it the other way. Okay, there's an opening. Plus there is openings on the back side. Okay, you can see that. That way you've got airway for the flame when you're when you've got the the flame in there burning. You've got airway for that flame to continue to burn. Okay. The other little thing I wanted to show on this stove is what I did was a and I've taken a pliers and at the point of contact 
with the cup, okay, I've taken that uh, the stove with the pliers and bent it in a little bit. You don't have to do the whole thing all the way around. You just want to bend it in. Just n grab it a little bit at the edge and bend it in with the pliers. Do the same thing on the other side. And that way your cup has more of a surface to sit on. Okay. Your, your cup sits real nice out on there with it bent in. You just want to grab the little bit of the edge. That way also when you go to put your cup and the burner back together again it will fit in real nicely and it just covers over curls over the edge here. Okay. I just wanted to show you that and uh, hope that helps out with uh, setting this up and having uh, a little more control over the over the uh, the burning and doesn't put your fire out that way and uh, I'm, I hope that helps out everyone so talk to you later uh, um, like my channel share it and uh, be a subscriber I appreciate it have a good day. Bye.